Hello, Chef here with yet another video for you, the viewer. Uh, I want to talk about a few things today, and one of them is going to be a steak marinade and uh, some steak recipes. Before we get into that, I want to talk to you about buying steak and some of the tricks in the industry. So first of all, when you're walking through the grocery store and you're looking for steak, you're looking for some marbling. This is marbling right here. This steak looks good. You need to shop for what kind of cut you want as well as the price. Price is important, price is relative, but first of all, what kind of cut do you want? Sure, everybody wants filet mignon, New York strip steak, porterhouse, but you can still achieve a similar flavor or the same texture and flavor by preparing a different cut correctly. So when you walk through the butcher shop and you look at all these different steaks, look at the marbling, look at the packaging, look at the price, all of this is relative. Uh, this is Black Angus, I do like Black Angus. Of course it's USDA certified, this is Choice, and uh, it's product of USA, that's important to me too. Uh, they give you the calories, uh, but that's uh, regardless, if you want to eat beef, you're going to eat beef. You just want to be careful with all the cholesterol. Too much marbling, like the Wagyu, that doesn't mean it's better. That means there's more fat. Fat in your mouth. Of course, it's going to cost more, too. Here, let's take a qu quick look at what we paid for this one here. Black Angus beef top round for lung and broil. Well... That's fine and that's true, however, this would make really nice uh, round steaks as well if you want to cut it up smaller. $6.49 a pound, 1.79 pounds. I did weigh this, and this actually is a pretty good deal. I did weigh this and it weighs exactly 1.79 pounds. However, we've got some extra blood, thank you to the butcher, the, the packer. And we've got a thick piece of plastic, Black Angus plastic here. Uh, so th that's relative too. So the actual price is not uh, $6.49 a pound. It's more like $7.25 a pound would be my estimate based on what's actually in here without all the juice. All right, follow along. We're going to move into the next video. Make sure to search steak on this channel. You're going to find all kinds of steaks. Strip steaks, porterhouse, butt steaks, sirloin steaks, steak marinades. It goes on and on and on. Uh, with that, I'll continue here. Uh, make sure to like, share, subscribe. There's a lot more coming. And oh yeah. It's going to be good. Made in USA. Braided stainless steel. It's got a white nylon coating for comfort. This glove will last. I'm going to guess it will last you 10 to 20 years using it heavily. Thanks for watching. Smash the like button. Subscribe right here. Visit the sponsor. Shop small and have a wonderful holiday season. Oh, yeah. Wow, the Jambus Kukina Elegante, handcrafted with the finest American hardwoods, food service grade stainless steel. The Elegante features inch and a half thick butcher block, available in several sizes and with several options. Call your sponsor and save money. Ask for a discount. Oh yeah, it's going to be good. Boost blocks, buy the best the first time, save money. Check it out. They do custom sizes. They do edge grain, end grain, maple, walnut, cherry, 
islands, counters, tables, cutting boards, chopping blocks, and these babies last for a long, long time. This one here is at least 20 years, 20 years used. You can see just how nice it is. The patina, the quality, wow. I like it, and it's a pleasure to chop on. Yeah. Update your kitchen. Contact the sponsor for cutting edge blocks as seen on TV. In this video, I'm using the Kasumi titanium knife. Love it. This one's going on about 10 years. Just keeps going. Blueberries. I like it. Oh, yeah. It's going to be good. Oh, 
Yeah. I'm using one of my favorite high heat spatulas. Watch the next video and learn more about this. Dragon fruit. Now, look at look at what I got here. This is full flavor. This is where all the flavor comes from out of the vanilla bean right there. Uh-huh. The sticky. That's what you want right there. Let's put it back in. Okay? And we're going to put this beautiful, beautiful bean right into this jar and get this extract going. I do want some of the seed specks to come out. That was one of the reasons why I split it. And it's quite simple. Here we go. Hello, Chef here once again, uh, bringing you some more valuable information and some facts with some of the finer things in life. Wow, Madagascar vanilla bean. Look at that fat, sticky, soft, juicy bean. To get the best vanilla beans, just visit the sponsor. Like I said, these are thick, sticky, fat, juicy, number one grade Madagascar beans. They also have a variety of beans from all over the world. You can also contact the sponsor if you need gallons. The beans are uh, fully uh, fermented now. Uh, they've, they've some of the flavors extracted into the liquor and this is ready to go. This is going to be really good. It's going to be strong. I use a clean uh, white towel. Wipe off any excess oil that's there. This cutting board, like I said, is over 10 years old. A little bit of excess oil. It's over 10 years old and it's just going strong. Love it. Check out your sponsor. They got all these babies on sale. They ship for free. It's the best cutting board you can buy right there. Oh yeah. Select Hard Rock Maple is the chef's choice. Choose from several sizes. With a juice groove, without a juice groove, reversible, charcuterie board, solid walnut, solid cherry, even walnut rustic grain, reversible, round, square, rectangle, free shipping, 
Oh, it's going to be good. Oh, so nice to cut on. Contact the sponsor. They're having a sale, and I know there's free shipping as well. Professional cutting boards, chopping blocks, butcher blocks, custom sizes, 